Uh, good afternoon. What I wanted to do today is show you how to do the um, uh, kind of the second part of the assignment where we are, figure out how to create a form and then enter um, items. Uh, and we're going to use it a little bit different technique than what we have um, done in the classroom setting. Uh, and what we're going to do is create a form based on a query. So let me show you how to do that. The first thing we have to do, of course, if we want to do that, is create our query. So I click on Query Design. And for this one, I want Titles and Title Author. And we'll click Close on that Add Table dialog. And you'll notice here that because we have the relationship set, we have the relationship carries over here into the query. And um, I'm going to click on the asterisk here in the top uh, and drag that down. And all that means is that it, this will make all of the fields in the titles table, and since I did it in the title author table, make all of those fields available to us for both tables. I click on the X to X out, ask me if I want to save. I click yes. And I'm going to create a name for it, QRY. Uh, new items. You of course may name it whatever you'd like. Okay. So I highlight that. I click on the query new items. If I just double click on it you can see that it brings up the uh, data sheet view of it and if I scroll sideways you can see that it has uh, all those fields in it. So I'm going to click X out of that. Make sure it's highlighted. I click form and it automatically uh, creates this um, form for me. Now I need a little bit more room here on the screen so I'm going to click on this little arrow here. It says, says shutter bar open close and so I want to close that. That gives me some more room for my form here. I'll extend that uh, sideways a little bit and I asked you in the form to create a drop down for the um, author. And, so to do that, uh, we can do it one of two ways. Well, we'll use the combo box like we did before. So I click on that. Um, let me let me go to design view here for a second. Click on the upper um, header bar and click on design view. Click on author ID. Click uh, right click and go to change to, and then combo box. Now uh, I want to see the. I need to see the property sheet at this point, so I'm going to click on property sheet, and um, I click on data. Now the control source is the author ID in the um, uh, title author table, and so I'm going to leave that alone. What I want to do is I want to choose the last name and, well, author ID, last name, and first name from the authors table to do that. So um, click in the row source here, click the uh, down arrow, choose the authors table, then go over to my ellipsis button and it asks me if I want to create a query based on the table. I say yes. And now this is important. Bring the author ID down to the first column and then the last name to the next column and first name to the column after that. Um, so I have author ID in the first column, last name, first name. I click X, ask me if I want to say it. I say yes. And then, of course, the other thing I have to know, the reason that um, it's important to have the author ID in the first column is because this, this row here that says bound column refers to the column in that query that we're going to put in the control source. So that's what gets saved is that in what's in that first column. So if you put the author last name in the first column, then it's going to try to save that first column author last name in our control source, which is the author ID, and that will be wrong. So we want the author ID to be in the first column. Uh, we also remember we have to change our column count here. We have three columns, so I'll put a three in here. And I'm going to click over here. I'm going to click Save. Um, and since this is a form, I use FRM. You can do, of course, as you please, and click OK. I'm going to get rid of the property sheet here. And so then we'll go to Form View. And you can see here 
that uh, when I click the down arrow for the author ID, I have the, the author ID, last name, first name, just as we would expect. Um, and if I want to add new um, records into the thing here, I click the button with the, uh, it says new blank record, there's a little yellow thing by it. I enter in whatever um, author ID I, or title ID I want. I enter new uh, titles um, and you just make things up. Oops. So I had a coffee cup confessions. It's a crime um, novel. Uh, publisher ID. Well, that's kind of a problem. I don't have any, so let me look for publisher IDs. We'll fix this in a minute. So 0736 might be that one. 0736. Oops. 36. Um, I don't price is 14.99 uh, I don't know about advanced royalty we don't really need those year-to-date sales we don't have any yet if there's some notes we could do that we do need a publisher ID so 3 13 2013 author ID um, let me get rid of this again and then we can choose uh, our author um, and you'll notice it added the title ID down here uh, that's because the two tables are linked. The titles.titleID is the field in the title uh, table, and the title author table will, because they're linked, will automatically pick it up. And if you had um, royalties or these other things, you could do that. And it, so to save it, you just move to another record. And if we go back, we'll see that what we entered is there. So that's how you create the table. Um, that's how you do the author ID drop down and um, that's how you do create the form now I promised you that we would I'd show you how to do the publisher ID and you probably know how to do this already um, but the publisher ID having to go back and look at that is um, tra isn't traumatic but it's prone to error and it's so quick to create the combo box that um, I think that we ought to do that so I'm gonna click uh, in that field and then I'm gonna right click and I'm going to click change to combo box. Now I need the property sheet again. And uh, so I want the control source to be the publisher ID. Uh, and and that, will, that field is in the titles table. Um, and then I need to set the row source. Well, what do I set the row source to? Well, I go here to publishers because I want to pick up the publisher ID and the publisher name. So I click the ellipsis button. It asks me if I want to invoke the query builder. I say yes. And I drag the publisher ID down. Again, we put that in the first column because it means we don't have to change our bound column. I pull the publisher name down in the second column. I click X, click yes uh, to save that. I go here to format. I click column count, hit a 2. And I can X out of there. Well, we'll go to the next field, X out of there click right click in the header uh, column click save uh, click in there right click again go to form view and you'll notice now that when I go to form view um, I can I have the name of the publisher so that is how you do that uh, part of the assignment